Elvis is back is the 10th or 11th studio album by of course Elvis Presley yeah I believe you know I did the first three records by him uh, self-titled Elvis and Loving You uh, you know which were all right I think those were pretty good so I believe this is a combat a combat a comeback record by the guy you know Elvis is back so that's clearly an obvious statement by the guy um, I haven't looked up the information yet, but I've listened to it and I believe we have 10 tracks on there and it is really nothing special requested by Dylan Cohen who wanted me to do a shitload of Elvis Presley, so we're gonna do that um, I believe this is a 12 track affair basically every record by him is 12, you know, 12 songs long Elvis is back you know, I cannot find it because he has so many records Elvis is back, yeah, 12, record, uh, 12 songs, we have 30 mo 31 minutes of new material, well, new, of uh, different material. Um, and overall, it was a really relaxing album, you know, it was really, of course, really um, easy to the ears, it was really accessible. Like, basically every, you know, basically every um, Elvis album. Um, and not to say that that is a bad thing, but he is just such an, you know, samey artist. Just every record by him is basically the same. So it's really difficult for me to, you know, give these opinions about the record, to give new opinions. Because I basically, you know, feel the same with every, uh, with every, you know, Elvis album, Elvis is back. Which was a bit more, I would say, consistent. It was, you know, it was definitely better than Loving You, which is probably still my least favorite Elvis Presley record that I've heard so far. Uh, so I'm gonna look up the information now. Elvis is back is, yeah, of course, highly acclaimed. Um, and it's a pretty good record as well. We have the album cover and, um, yeah, I have to say, it is a good picture by him, you know. Uh, hair is pretty good. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty. It's just pretty. No homo. Um, yeah, you know, what he's wearing is cool. Uh, the title, Elvis is back, is a bit cheesy, I would say. But I believe he was away for some time. So, it is a good title, I would say. Um, it is a good title. It's a good picture. So, everything is pretty, yeah, just pretty. Um, you know, I'm going to look up the title now for, uh, I believe, well, no. For, for Wikipedia because you know I can't bother to say anything about it it's a uh, rhythm and blues pop rock and blues and that is probably why I enjoyed it more because it was more centered towards pop uh, rock as well so we have a bit of a more well different Elvis Presley here I would say that the 60s stuff is really just um, uh, he really defined himself in the 60s I would say of course the 50s he, he introduced himself and uh, still for a lot of people he you know was the best around that era but i would say the 60s uh, this is a really relaxing album to listen to we have 12 tracks uh fever was pretty upbeat the second track it was uh, pretty good uh, i was not a big fan of the first track make me know it because it's mainly just one minute and 58 seconds long it's really short and it doesn't really go anywhere at the time that it has then we have the girl of my best friend which is also a pretty catchy song uh, I believe this is about, uh, you know, betra betrayal, about, you know, people that um, do like, you know, act like they are your best friend, but <coughs> but um, actually they, you know, backstab you. I believe it is about that, you know, at least what I can read of the title. Um, and this song is also pretty catchy, it's uh, 2 minutes and 21 seconds long. Um, you know, it's overall a pretty good song, it's a bit too short, you know, for me to really enjoy, but still an overall enjoyable record. Um, a song that I didn't really like was Dirty Dirty Feeling. Uh, this song is like the title says, it's, it's really suggestive, suggestive in ways. Uh, I believe, that, yeah, this is the shortest song on the record, 1 minute and 35 seconds, which of course, you know, makes them my least favorite. Uh, the length and it is just a really pointless track. Uh, it doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, Trail of Your Love is a bit of a slow dancer, I would say. Not too upbeat. Uh, this record overall isn't really upbeat. It's just mainly really relaxing and just really suitable music, which I do enjoy as well. 
Uh, yeah, the song is like I said a bit of a slow dance. Uh, you know, put this on if you're slow dancing with somebody or uh, just are in a relaxing mood, then you can put the song on. It's pretty perfect. Uh, then we have Such a Night, which is probably the you know the most slow song on the record, which isn't a bad thing. It's just really you know relaxing, like uh, like Thrill of Your Love, but this is an even slower song, you know. Uh, I do really love you know the slow momentum that the song really has. I really love that it you know go, uh, does that that it takes the time, although it is just two minutes and fifty eight seconds. But it still is a really enjoyable track, and I just love you know the the title is great, such a night, and uh, you know I was just talking about the great night. Um, yeah, and then we have girl next door went to went a walking, which is also a pretty enjoyable track. It's it's a really you know. It is really short, it's 2 minutes and 12 seconds long, but this is still a uh, bit of a more upbeat song. Um, I still, you know, really enjoyed it, although it's really short like the other tracks. Basically every, uh, everything on here is 2 or 3 minutes long, so there we go. Um, and Like a Baby is the 11th song, and this is a really, uh, it's, yeah, it's a pr pretty straightforward track. I would say that it's pretty good, you know, but... Uh, it's a bit too predictable for me. It's it still is an alright track, I would say. But uh, yeah, for me this is um, yeah just a bit of a you know. Um, I would say you know the the sequel is better. Uh, you know uh, Elvis Presley is just basically saying on this track, uh, yeah baby, we can try it. You know we can do it this way, stuff like that. And on uh, the 12th track, reconsider baby. Uh, he is you know just really asking for it. He's just really you know begging, uh, baby. You know for me to go out produce stuff like that. Uh, it's 3 minutes and 39 seconds long, which makes it the longest track on this thing. Uh, yes, it does. Um, yeah, it's a pretty great track, like a baby, I'm not too fond of, but this is a pretty good track. Uh, overall, this was a really consistent album. Um, yeah, actually, we have some tracks as well that I really like. Um, uh, like I Will Be Home Again, Soldier Boy, It Feels So Right were pretty good as well. So this is a pretty great record, I would say. Uh, the only songs that I didn't really enjoy were Dirty Dirty Feeling, which is just a bit of a dumb song. Sung, uh, song. Make Me Know it wasn't too good as well, the opening song. Which is not too good, because you want a good opener. But yeah, that was not the case here. Um, yeah, and overall, um, I did really enjoy it. Uh, I would say this, um, the second side is a bit better. But yeah, it was overall really consistent. And um, yeah, you know, my mom just texted me. Are you gonna make dinner? So I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, you know, not, not anything related with the uh, video, of course, but you know, before I get interrupted again, I'm gonna end it there. Um, yeah, guys, this was pretty good. Um, definitely, yeah, I would say, nah, it's not better than the first two, I would say. The first two are still my favorites. But, you know, this is definitely better than Love You, so this is a pretty good comeback record. So I'm gonna give this an 8.7. Um, yeah, this is a really good album, check it out. It's really short, it's consistent. It has a few stink well stinkers on it. It has a few weaker tracks on it, but overall it's a really consistent piece. So, check it out if you want. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Elvis is back. What do you think about Elvis Presley in general? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.